All right. Anyway, so how about uh, number five then, Brianna? The audience gave them a standing ovation for their performance. Very good. Gave them a standing ovation for their performance. So you see how it works. You're you're either a part of that group that they're talking about, or you're just talking about another person that's separate from you, or a group of people that are separate from you. So go ahead and finish those. That's your part of your assignment. Think B, and then also on think uh, C on page 170. Not think D, but think C on page 170. Um, you're going to identify whether it is a um, S, which is, wait a minute, okay. So whether it's used as the subject of the sentence, the pre a predicate nominative, which has to come after what kind of verb, Emma? Um, wait. Predicate nominative renames the, the subject. You want Andre to help? Yeah. Okay, Andre. An uh, action verb? Uh, ah, incorrect. Uh, oh, it's linking. A verb? It's a linking verb, not an action verb. Action verb is with the direct object and indirect object. Okay, and so that's the next two, D-O or I-O. And then O-P, object of the preposition, how it's used there. Okay, so let's do the first four together. And then the rest are going to be for points, so... Um, so number one, Abigail lent my sister and blank a copy of Peter Pan. Which one should be crossed out? Juliana, we'll let you go ahead and do that. Which one should be crossed out? The I or the me? And since it's compound, separate it. What did you say? That's correct. It should be I should be crossed out. So it should be, Abigail lent my sister and me a copy of Peter Pan. And so you cross out the I. Okay, Andre, number two. Which should be um, crossed out? What should be crossed out? Correct. Which one should be crossed out? Um, the pastor? Um, no, it, we should cross the out. The pastor should be crossed out? No. You don't like pastor? It. I was reading it. Oh, go ahead. Okay. The pastor thing of us, so we is crossed out. Correct. We is crossed out because us is correct. And what is boys there again, Eric? What's that called? Us boys. Boys there. And direct, a direct object? No, it starts with an ah and it ends with a positive. A positive? A positive. That's right. A positive. Very good. All right. Number three, Brianna. Which one should be crossed out? He. I disagree. Him. It is him. Him. Yes. All right. Here's the reason why. Um, it is used as a predicate nominative. Um, and a predicate nominative renames a subject, okay? And so the subject is what in that sentence? Can anybody tell me? Um, the subject in number three? Number three, yeah. Well, let's do this. What's the verb? Um, oops, is. Um, is is the verb, is is the verb. And then so what, who or what is? He. What's that? He. Um, no, not he. He is not the subject. It is the subject. It is oh. he who keeps complaining about the noise. And then the question form is, is it he who keeps complaining about the noise? But then you say, it is he who keeps complaining about the noise. And so with that, being, with that in mind, then he has to match it. It is the subject. He has to be in subjective form because it's renaming the subject. All right. That's why it's not him. All right. And so that's why him is crossed out. So, by the way, for the first one, what is the um, use of the word me in that sentence for the blank on the left? Which number? 
for number one. Remember, we went back and we should have crossed out I, but what goes in the blank on the left? Because you're supposed to put S, P, N, D, O, I, O, or O, P. W. Huh? Abigail. What are you Ab talking about, Abigail? Abigail has nothing to do with it. You said W. No. no, that's not what I said. What in the say? blank. Andre, pay attention to the instructions, okay? Stop cutting your shoelaces off and then... Um, it says, uh, Abigail lent my sister and me a copy of Peter Pan, right? That was the sentence. Okay. You know, the more that you're actually reading your book and looking at it, the faster this will go. Okay. Because it's really not helpful if you're not doing that, because then you have to go and look and everybody else has to wait. So anyway, that's your sentence. The word that's in the parentheses that is correct, we've got to figure out how it's used in the sentence, whether it's a subject, oh. predicate, nominative, direct object, indirect object, or object of the preposition, okay? So how is that one used in the first one? How is me used? Which one of those five is it used as? A direct object. Okay, so Abigail lent me, lent me out. Oh, oh um, an indirect object. It's an indirect object, because he lent the copy to whom or to to who or to whom, and that's to me, sister and me, actually. All right. How about for the second one, um, uh, Emma, number two, the word us there, what is that one? Microphone is off. Oh, uh, it's a... Uh, um... Okay, what kind of direct verb is object. it? What's that? Direct object, that's correct. It's a it's an action verb, so it can be a direct object or an indirect, but in this case, it's a direct object. Who did he thank? He thanked us. Okay. Then for the third one, I already told you what it was before. What did I say, Brianna? Do you remember? Oh, can I see it? Direct object? No, not a direct object, because you look at it, the verb is a linking verb, so it can't be a direct object. It's not an action verb. PM. Mr. Jones, can I see it? Yes, predicate nominative. She said it already, PN. All right, for number four now, who should I pick on? Eric. Smile, Eric. That was only a half smile. Here, I'll make you smile. Ice cream. Now I'll make you frown. Homework. You almost smiled still, so I'm going. Ahead. Go ahead, Eric. Um, for number four, what do you think the first blank should be? I mean, the first one. Which one should be crossed out? Um, he. Cro he should be crossed out. What about the second one? She. She should be crossed out. Very good. So, what are Juliana? Both of those used as. Which one of those five up there are both of those used as? Juliana? You can just write it on your on your whiteboard if you want. Write write it on your whiteboard so I know which initials they are. We still can't hear you. Although I see your smoke detector in your back of your on your ceiling there. And the light on the left side of your head, or the right side of your head, but left side of, on my picture. O P object. So where's the preposition, Juliana? Where's the preposition? Because if it's an object preposition, you have to have a, it's part of a prepositional phrase. Then did you just say oops? No. Okay. So think about it. What kind of verb is it? Is it um, linking or action? Okay, so an action can only have what type, what two types of things can be after an action verb of, the, of this list here? She's thinking. She's thinking. She's still thinking. Let 
Look at page 149, Juliana. And everybody else. 149. And at the top there, 149, Juliana, read that sentence. The blue sentence there. Just to yourself. Just to yourself, because we can't hear you anyway. So it says, a direct object is a noun or a pronoun that follows in what kind of verb? Action verb. So what kind of verb is gave here? Action verb, okay, because you can give it. You know, you're giving it. And it says, the librarian gave... What did the librarian give? Cards, very good. To whom or to or for whom? Very good, him and her. And so him and her are then what? Can't see your mouth, so I can't tell what you're saying. Can't see your mouth, so I can't see what you're saying. Okay, go ahead. Subject. Did you say subject? <laughs> No, it's not subject. Subject is the librarian. The librarian is the one they gave. The librarian gave cards for whom or, or to whom. And so him and her, indirect objects, is that what you said? Yeah, it's indirect objects. Okay. So now that's what you're going to have to do for number 5 through 14. All right. And that's the only assignment on page 170 is think C and then whatever's on the bottom of page 169 that we didn't do. All right, that's it. Any questions about anything? No? All right. Well, you guys have a good day. We'll see you tomorrow. Be good. Do your work, Bye. Eric. Bye. Bye. Bye.